Welcome to the tutorial on setting up and using your ILLiad account. ILLiad stands for Interlibrary Loan. What this means is that when you find a book or article in the Ship Discovery Service or any other database that we don't have here on campus or through our database collections, you can send away for it. To find ILLiad, you would go under Library Resources and choose Interlibrary Loan. And this would take you to the ILLiad page. So on the circulation page, you'll see lots of information about how to request an item, what you can't get, what we can't do, but what we can do. And just the first time you set up your ILLiad account, it's going to ask you to enter some information. So I'm going to walk you through that. If you go ahead and click on the ILLiad link, it would take you to this page. The nice thing about ILLiad is that the username and password are synced with your SHIP username and password. So it's always going to be your SHIP email address and it's going to be whatever your current SHIP email account is. You don't have to remember it from semester to semester because it'll change along with everything else. Once you're in, if you're a new user, it's going to take you to update your personal information. So here you would need to, of course, fill out your first and last name, your SHIP email address, your cell phone, which would only be used if we were trying to get a hold of you because you had held on to a book for a long time. You would always choose your preferred loan delivery method to be hold for pickup. Only students who are distance ed, so they never come on campus, qualify for mail to address, which we really don't have many of those at Shippensburg. You could use your home address for your primary address because, again, that's just going to be if you get a notice about keeping materials. And, of course, you want to choose your status, whether you're faculty, graduate, or undergraduate and whether you're in a department or have declared a major or if you're undeclared you would choose that and submit the information. Now once you've created this you'll see that it takes you just into the main menu and you could put in a new request or you could view things that you already received. In order to put in a request just to give you a quick example of how to request something through interlibrary loan You would find what we don't have in our collection and you would click on a link. So if I uncheck available in library collection and do my search again, then what it will do is it will give me options outside of our personal catalog. So for instance, here's one that says request through interlibrary loan. So the nice thing about using that directly from a database when you find requests through the interlibrary loan is that it'll fill out the information for you. So if I click on that and I'm currently already logged in so it takes me to my book request form and it fills in the information for me. Sometimes I need to go back and check if it's missing some information. This is a book but if it was an article it often leaves the month out whereas I could just go and find that very quickly or maybe it doesn't look like the ISBN is correct so I might want to go and check on that. But once I've gone through and decided that this looks correct I say whether I will accept it in another language other than English and I put the latest date that I could receive the book for it to be useful to me that for semester then I would submit a request. When anything is received through interlibrary loan you'll get an email from Iliad that will ask you to log in. Now if it was a book it should say your book is ready at the circulation desk go pick it up. If it's an article it'll be a link to log in here and you'll go into your articles received online and there will be a PDF right here that lasts for 30 days so you can download and save that. Iliad is very easy to use but if you have any trouble whatsoever don't forget to contact a librarian. Again our contact information is under the ask us anything box. There's phone, text, email and the research help hours are always available on the page, the homepage of the library. Thank you.